Have you ever wondered how to connect to your Raspberry Pi remotely? This is really cool. You can program your Raspberry Pi and navigate the monitor wirelessly from the comfort of your Mac laptop on the other side of the room. And this is all with the VNC Server Connect. Now I'm going to walk you through how to actually do this. As you can see, we have a Raspberry Pi here hooked up to a monitor with HDMI. We have a keyboard and a mouse connected via USB to the Raspberry Pi. First thing we need to do is go to the terminal of the Raspberry Pi. Type in sudo space apt dash get space update and press enter. Great. It will now update your Raspberry Pi. Next, I'm going to type in sudo space apt dash get install and press enter. Lastly, you're going to have to type in sudo space apt dash get space install space real VNC dash VNC dash server space real VNC dash VNC viewer, then press enter. Now close the terminal window. Next, we have to go to preferences. Then we go to Raspberry Pi configuration. We then go to interfaces, go to VNC and make sure it's enabled. Click OK. Next, you should see this VNC icon here. We click on the VNC icon and then we see the IP address we will actually use to connect with ScreenShare on our Mac. ScreenShare is an app on the Mac. But first we have to click on Menu, go to Options, and now under Security, we select Prefer Off. And under Authentication, we select VNC Password, then we hit Apply, and then OK. Then go back to Options, click on Users and Permissions, add a standard user, enter the password, and hit apply and then OK. Make sure to remember this password. We go to the screen sharing app on our Mac. We type in the IP address and we hit connect. Now we have loaded it and we can program our Raspberry Pi. Very, very cool. You can program the Raspberry Pi remotely. If you had an issue, let's say it showed a blank screen and you had trouble with screen share, what do you do to fix this in your Raspberry Pi? First, go to the terminal in the Raspberry Pi. Type in sudo raspy config. What you need is to have a keyboard and a mouse directly connected to your Raspberry Pi to be able to do this. You have to press the down and the up arrows on the keyboard to navigate down and up. Press down for display, then hit enter, and make sure you've selected resolution, and then hit enter again. It might be at the default preference. Instead, you have to press the down arrows to pick the 1920 by 1080 resolution, and then hit enter. Now, hit the down arrow and go to the bottom. Hit the right arrow and then hit enter to finish. Unfortunately, now we have to reboot the Raspberry Pi for this to actually work. Select log out in the Raspberry Pi icon menu on the top left and then select reboot. Now what we have to do is go back here Look at what this IP address is here at the top and then type it in into your Mac laptop in the screen share app of your Mac, which should come with your Mac. Hit the connect button, type in your password, and there you go. Now you can control and program your Raspberry Pi from your laptop. 
Now you can get rid of your mouse, get rid of your keyboard, and all you need is your laptop not connected to anything else at all, and you can just program your Raspberry Pi remotely. I disconnected my monitor from the Raspberry Pi, and it still worked to program the Raspberry Pi from my laptop.